It's Myth and Moonshine Night here at Skinny B. Johnson Stadium in International Speedway in Gristlejock, Georgia, where you can hear 13 minutes live version of Freebird five times a game, twice on the hour. Today's matchup promises severed limbs and ruined careers. The full metal may have bang heads against the Orcs of Hazard. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hey, man, the team's on the now. They you all know, have. <laughs> yeah, we got going to get it. If the sound of a torn Achilles followed by laughter and taunting brings a smile to your face, you are tuned to the right place. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow and the MFL crew is coming to you live on game day. Bricks, any uh, thoughts on today's game? Um, I thought I had one, but uh, I think I might have forgotten it. Oh, I remember. I forgot who's playing today. Careful what you ask for, Grim. And it's first and ten. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. And it's first and ten. This game's a brick shoot. And the running game is starting to click now. A pickup of eight on the play. Second down and two. Oh, and the defender cut off that pass like a suburban mom on the way to speak to the man. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got dead mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite it. First and ten. Boom! Dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? Yeah, I'm still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Uh, it didn't work that time. It was close though. Yep. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> the kick is good! Yeah, as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. And it's first and ten. didn't see it. At least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. And it's first and ten. Boom! And he's dead! Oh, bingo! 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 I got bingo, Grim! First and ten. Oh, a great catch, and he picks. 
picks up a new Oh, mama. Just call him Captain Crunch. Another one bites the dust. And it's first and ten. done for a first down. And it's first and ten. And these guys are marching down the field unopposed. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. Well, you're probably right. Yeah. He probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they got out the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? And that'll be second and eight to go. Hot one, hot two, hot does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know where I'm at. Boom, get him down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, I'm going in circles. First and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot. The quarterback had no time to throw, and the defense gets a big sack. Second down in a very lot. to the air and came up big. Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. And apparently they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon Raby blood is my thought. What was a player's favorite? And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Another loser bites the dust. In the MFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. Ah, that's a good point, Grim. And it's first and ten. And the ground game is starting to soften up the defense. First down. And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. And I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. You just, he just slipped away like a creep. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. First down! I've seen this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. And it's first and ten. And like a monkey trying to... Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Oh, uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? The offense lost another running back and only two remain on their roster. When a team loses all their running backs, 
They lose their ability to run the ball. Yeah, like if I rip out your tongue, you won't be able to speak. Tell us something we don't know, genius. And it's first and ten. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It's good. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threat. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. The burn returner was made by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably grabbed his pants. And here comes the extra point attempt. Straight through the uprights. That's the end of the first quarter, and it's still anyone's game. Oh, oh, could it be mine? The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Oh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. Pow, with the brain scrambler. The burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. Jeez, you give this guy... Oh, great tackle! When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And it's first and ten. That's a nice gain of about seven yards on that run. Second and three. And that'll give them four more downs to punish the defense. And you better believe they will. And it's first and ten. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. You just... You, and he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a, Boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? First and ten. Oh, holy smokes! He just killed that player with a cheap shot. That's why we love the MFL. 
The offense is down to their last running back. If they lose him, they lose all their running plays. Second down in a lot. And that's another turnover for the defense. Man, what a hit that was. And it's first and ten. And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five yards on that play. Second down and five. on the pass. And this guy's six feet tall. He could just have fallen over and gotten two yards. Third and two. He could go all the way. The ten. They're getting on him. Hey, come on, move your ass. I got a soft my brain on this asshole. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. Boom, dead end. He delivered the freaky fast ham sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? Now, still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. And it's first and ten. What? Oh, uh, come on, that was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so are the fans. And it's first and ten. And with another pick, the QB says, I don't know what Oh, with a brutal hit. And it's first and ten. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed. I know I said never hit a man when he's down. It's just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. First and ten. Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. Second down and two. First and ten. Uh, 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 and he laterals at the last second. Nifty move there. That was a nice piece of running, Grim. That's a first down. Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you 
see what number he was? I gotta check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more! The offense is down to their last running back. When he bites the dust, they can only pass. Yeah, well, at least they don't have to forfeit, Ben. That's right, but now the defense can focus on killing the receivers. First and four. Great play by the defense. It's not too often a quarterback gets rejected. That's why right, that's the position I originally tried out for. I want to know what it's like for other people to accept you. Now that went from a joke to making me feel feelings. Stop it. This isn't a place to feel... Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. And here comes the extra point attempt. Straight through the uprights. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. We're at the two-minute warning. Oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I got to see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they have raincoats in the front row because that was flattering everywhere. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably grabbed his pants. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry up too? And he's running like a moose right now. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path and the body toll continues to climb. The 20. Boom to the moon. Another loser bites the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. The offense lost their final running back. Lucky for them, they're on defense now. They're lucky to survive so much bad luck, carnage, and death, Grim. And it's first and ten. Reception. This quarterback is going to listen to Joy Division and weep tonight. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Quinn? Aren't we all? And the quarterback throws another pick. He should have eaten his sleeties this morning. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. <laughs> and it's first and ten. He dropped it. If he does that again, they'll drop him. Second down and ten. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah. And they take their first time out. Ah, how predictable. Surprise us next time. Call the timeout during halftime. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as that. He just wrestles away from the pass, finds its target. A pickup of six yards on the play. And that'll be second. Well, that's two timeouts burned. And you have to wonder, Bricks, are they desperate or are they in control? Yeah, I'm speaking from experience, Grim. But it really is hard to do both at the 
same time. And I have mastered it. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. Kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwann Galaxy phone. The burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. Any field goals over 40 yards are difficult. He's going to really have to boom this one. murder and bribery are cheered. It's good to be good, huh? I mean, can we all just... Not this shit again. Bricks, I'm... And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Frankenfood you'll have fun trying to identify. We are back for the second half as the teams line up for the kickoff. The coach told his players they'll be strung up on the goalposts if they don't make this a game in the second half. That's how you motivate these pricks. <laughs> when you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore, Grim. <laughs> the burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Now, what exactly is a burn? Grim. Now, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on a bench. He probably grabbed his pants. And it's first and ten. Second down and ten. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard. Boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? And it's first and ten. Revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Huh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they yeah, not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know. Right now, what day is it? <laughs> Second down in a very lot.
some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What? And kick the kicker's job in half? They just be The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just kidneys. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. And it's first and ten. And he stayed with the receiver and deflected the ball. Second down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. And that's the way you play a guy. Nice coverage. Third down and ten. Hot one, hot two. Oh, and he might have just saved a touchdown on that deflection. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. And he's got a chance for a good return here. Oh, with the brutal hit. And it's first and ten. Oh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. Oh, mama. Just call him Cap and Crunch. Another one bites the dust. First and eight to go. And that was a perfect pass, and he scores handily. And they line up for the extra point. It's good. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. Oh, with the brain scrambler. Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore, Grim. And it's first and ten. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. So is that cheerleader. Second down and ten. Oh, the receiver has to make that catch. Now he put the team in a hole. Third down and ten. No, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. Nice punt. Should move them back nicely. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. Oh, mama. He just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And it's first and ten. And that's a run for no gain. Then it's not really a run, is it?
Second down and ten. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Well, of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. I do. The guy should have fucking caught it. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number he was? I gotta check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more. Second down and two. with multiple interceptions the QB should just throw in the towel oh man Brooks you gotta love a player who goes down fighting first down give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off he is deadly in the open field Bricks the offense is running low on quarterbacks they have only two left he might consider running the ball more First down and nine. And that's a run for no gain. Second down and nine. Should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. I turned out the line, it wasn't a... Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. The burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. And it's first and ten. If you don't think you can make the interception, batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's gonna go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to... Yeah, never mind. Yes, Brick, he will. Air ball! Hey, did we start running ghosts into the NFL, Grim? No, that was just a shitty pass to absolutely no one. Third down and ten. Catches it. Hey, oh man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. And it's first and ten. And that's another pick. Man, oh man. Oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about bad hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. <laughs> oh. And it's first and ten. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. Second down and ten. Uh, uh, uh. I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this cube. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much.
much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. And it's first and ten. Like he just ran into the line at the DMV. And guess what, Grim? That line ain't moving. Yeah, that was kind of my point, Bricks. Second down and ten. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? And like a monkey trying to fuck a grease football, he gets away in a hurry. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. Oh, and he, oh, holy smokes, he just killed that player with a cheap shot. That's why we love the MFL. The offense has only one quarterback left. If he dies, it's game over. Nah, this new QB don't even look too confident. He's pleading with the coach on the sidelines about something. Yeah, he's telling his coach to punt. What a pussy. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot three. At this point, with multiple interceptions, the QB should just throw Boom! And it's first and ten. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. The 30. The 20. He's at the That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. The third quarter mercifully ends. If this game is as painful to watch as we are to listen to, then please accept our apologies. This one is just about over. First down to seven. Second down and more than the QB would like. And he breaks away. He caught it. And nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. Straight through the uprights. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. They're going to be able to return this one. to one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwong Galaxy phone. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. And it's first and ten. He says, I'm taking you with me. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. The offense lost their last quarterback. Next time their offense comes out on the field, they will have to forfeit the game. And it's first and ten. Right, the QB is going to have more interceptions than completions. Oh, he just got popped big time. Oh my God, I thought his head was. Lots of blood and guts spilled in this game. The Orts of Hazard pulverize the opposition and win by forfeit. 
There's not much left of the opposition, and the fans are loving it. There was only one way this game was going to end, and that was in a forfeit. That's not quite true, Grim. The alien spacecraft could have crashed into the stadium and ended the game. Oh, how about it? How about if you shut the hell up right now? We go down the field and listen to what the MVP has to say. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Micro Heart Corporation. They get it right every up.